Good evening, viewers. This is Satellite Media. Mr. Riwan, the obedient spokesperson in this uh, environment. I want us to look at what came from your master, your leader, Mr. B himself, advising Mr. President Senator Ahmed Balatunubu to stop downplaying our situation. We understand that Nigeria is passing through different situations, and the government is often telling us that it's a global issue. But let us understand why Obi have now become the face of opposition instead of Atiku who came out second in that election. Um, thanks for having me on your wonderful platform. First is first, um, obedience are the only opposition that you have in Nigeria. Only opposition. Ordinarily, if not, see, Nigeria should be thankful to the obedience. But if not for Peter, I'll be coming out to contest 23 election. By this time, there will be no opposition. In Nigeria, opposition is dead. The only opposition that we have in Nigeria, the only opposition are the obedience. And that is why they have to tackle the source. OB is the obedience. That's the name. OB, obedience. They have to tackle that OB. That's why you ask a Nigerian person that I've not seen this morning. What have you not seen this morning? OB will not become president. Your wife has left you because you cannot feed her. OB will not become president. Why can't you pay your house rent? OB not. That is that mentality. That slave mentality that is being, that is being put into their mind. Just because of the, 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 the good mind, the goodness, the name of our leader, Peter Obi. Peter Obi is a very compassionate person. He shows. When, when, he was a, when he was a former governor of Anambra State, we saw how he paid elderly people money, like stipends. We saw how he took Anambra State from 26 to number one ed in education in Nigeria. These are facts. I didn't make them up. It's a fact. We saw how he left money for his predecessor, which that one too came out to confirm. You understand? Will you be not confirmed that Peter Obi left money with him? Uh, he left money at the government coffers. When after when they gave him a land, Peter Obi rejected it. Now compare Peter Obi with other positions in Nigeria. That instead they are even acquiring land, lands that are meant to, to build schools. They are acquiring it. They have acquired, acquired almost everything, making their children senators, uh, making their wife senators, making their children heirs of something. Peter Obi is his wife a senator? Yeah, his children are living private life. Some, 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 someone like that, you know that he has a good mind. He has good intention for the citizens. But this one, they don't care. And like I always say, Nigeria deserves their leader. It's not that man that came here in the morning. He's not to say the truth. He's still justifying the evil. You, you understand? You see, tribalism has done a great disservice to Nigeria. Tribalism is a, is a very big problem. Some people rather drink, let me tell you, they rather drink a cup of poison that's been served by their, by their, by, by their tribe. But they cannot think. Nigerians are going through hunger and hardship. You are not complaining that, okay, other nations are going through hunger and hardship. The question is that other nations that are going through hunger and hardship, are they now buying special aircraft? Like I was telling people, I said, when I saw, I saw the report that um, our president wants to buy two presidential aircraft, like that. I said, no, two is not enough. They should buy 20. When our senators, when they bought cars of 160 million, I said, that is too small. They should buy 1 billion cars. Because Nigerians deserve their leaders. We generally deserve the kind of leader that we have. We deserve them. Because we don't pity for ourselves. We pity for our leaders. The other man came to, came to Chinese television. We saw the videos. He could not even justify why they are, why they are buying new cars in this hardship, in this, in this, in this, in this current economy. That, let me tell you something. Let me, I like to bring back memory so that people will know where I'm, where I'm coming from. 2014, 10 years ago, under Gulo Jonathan, 2014, 10,000, sir, will buy you one bag of rice. And yams, not one, not two, not three, four, five yams. I mean, yams. 2024, 10 years later, 10,000, I cannot buy seven decades of rice. 10,000, I cannot buy you two yams. It's not possible. If Aboki sell you two yams and you eat, you will die. Because that yam has been contaminated. Something is wrong with the yam. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the problem. Instead of, instead of to look from that angle, that this man no, has our interest at heart, no. It must be, it's, it must be tribalism. We ask people that you are fighting for their children are abroad. I told them, I told one of them one day, here is the children of your own people. They are abroad. They are enjoying. You are still justifying your hunger. Uh, let us, let us tighten, let us tighten our belts. Tighten your belt. Like I said, if you cannot buy egg, buy garden egg to cook your soup. If you cannot buy egg on the rice, put garden egg on top. I need the egg on the garden egg. If you cannot buy okra, use your kata. Let at least the, the soup is gone. But that is what the citizens that's what they deserve. We deserve our, our type of leaders. But we justify their crime 
and they are evil. We justify their spending. We justify when people now come out and say, okay, look at Kenya. Where, where, where am I going too far? I wanted to go to developed country. Look at Kenya. Over the course of the week, for example, in Kenya, price of bread. You know, the government can remove um, is it, um, um, the tariff. The price of bread went up. All nine cities of Kenya, they came out and protested. Now the government are revert back to the price. In Nigeria, even if they sell for even if they sell for for five thousand naira, people will justify. Are you religious, are you religious leaders? And I always say, in Nigeria, in this country, see our religious leaders, they are part of the problem. Either pastors, imams. They are part of the problem, not all of them, I mean, majority of them. They will tell you that God will provide for you. God has shown us that he will provide for you. What has been, okay, God will be providing now. Because, you see, it is not, see, let me tell you, it is not, like, like, like we saw that woman that is selling cocoa. There was a time, how many years ago, even three years ago, you can buy cocoa 50 naira. Now, for you to do cocoa, you must start from 200 naira. Which nation? Which group of people, which of them can go for that? 1,000 naira, our highest currency cannot buy you money food and you'll be filled because rice now it's starting from 400 you cannot buy rice under there not 200 not 300 anymore rice from 400 how is it going to cope you want to go from here now to lekki 1005 what are you talking about there you see people they are just they will justify it god will provide for you god will something god will provide it is you that will work if the economy is good and stable you see the message of our lord Jesus is the message of salvation it's going to be saved god can so until it's, let them let, let us sit down and then think right. Peter will be is on is on course. Stop comparing Nigeria to other nations because those ones have basic amenities. There's subsidy on food, either subsidy on transportation. In Nigeria, the only one that you are enjoying subsidy on on petroleum prices. Government have removed this. Okay, now Fariwan, let us look at the um song from Ad Idris. Okay, yes where he uh, tried to remind the president of the suffering across board, across different parts of the country, reminding him about a big power had been chanted by Nigerians, particularly in Lagos and some other western part of the country. Do you think uh, Abkarif is justified to sing that song? No, 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 no. The, the song is in order. We saw how it is Abkarif, we saw how he, how he, he sang about um, uh, how do I put it? He sang about Nigeria Jaga Jaga under Obasanjo. And we saw how that truly the song was a reflection of what is happening. So what in this African did not coin that word, the big power now. The big power was said by Yoruba people when President was coming as a, last year, Idel Kabir, the, the big seller of last year. When the Tribus convoy at Lagos Island, it was the old, old women that are, that are selling market that were shouting a big power as that one year ago. So, 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 he began to sing was what people said. He didn't coin it from his own head. And it's, and it said the meaning of a big power in Aousa too. But when it comes to the ego, he said, they will say he no concern us. And he said, it does not concern them because they have been discriminated. What he said, it would have been said for a long time. Because I'm a musician, I've been saying for a long time. These ones have been discriminated. They cannot come out to protest. But they see them as enemy of the, of the country. So then, it is the Oban the Aousa. They are shouting the big power. Like I tell people, see, let me tell you the truth. No matter how the economy of any nation is not better, the traders will always enjoy at least something. It is what I buy that I will sell. Who are the traders? Don't ask me. Go and check the origins of the traders. Which, 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 what is their major tribe? In Nigeria, we know that the traders, their major tribe, you know where they come from. I will not tell you. You know it. They will be the least affected. What I buy is what I will sell. But you that only collect salary, you will face it. 35,000 naira of today. As at last year, it, it is the value of 15,000 last year. Because everything has tripled, not doubled, tripled. You cannot buy rice of, ah, as at last year, you can still buy rice of 100 naira. You cannot buy rice of 300 naira anymore. So, as salary has not increased. And, and a lot of our positions, they will give you 60. And I tell people, see, in Nigeria, these are positions they are trying. Let me be sarcastic a little bit. The salary sal sal that they are giving Nigerians is too much. Let them decrease the salary from 35,000 to 10,000. Tighten your best citizens and pray to God. God will come down and help you. You understand? Nigeria people, your salary is too much. Let them let them decrease the salary. Then you now tighten your best. 
I now start praying to God. So I, God will now come down. Israel, you pray to the God of Israel every day. But Israel, when Amas struck them, they did not go and pray to their own God themselves. They struck back. But here, you are in Nigeria, you are praying to God to come and say, God will come down. You know, you know, God is so much. He will come down and elect a leader for you. God will come down and plant comes for you. God will come down and and and, and, and take away full and nearest men. God will come down and make the position to, to, to stop embezzling money. Your destiny is in your hands, Nigerians. You have seen now. This is how I've sang a song. What will be the reaction of Nigerians to the song? But the, the song is, is sang is right. He knows what he's saying. And, and a, normal man, a normal man being that have brain, and God has given you wisdom to think. You know that what it is that became said is the right thing. It is the truth. And we know this truth. So what, so what, so what, what are we talking about? All this, all this, all this, all this, all this religion dancing and going up and down. Can't, 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 can't make any nation, can't make any nation great. We stop deceiving ourselves. Right? We are saying the country is not good. Somebody is waving at a woman. Can't you, can't you, you see what I'm talking about? Can, can you hear a, a Nigerian citizen? That his mate are protesting in Kenya. He's chasing after a woman. <laughs> so, so uh, Mr. Ariwan, is that, maybe that is the nature of Nigerian youths. Or no, yes. they, are, they are not interested in fighting for their rights. Yes. Rather chasing on the, after anything under the skirt. Yes, yes now. He said, the nation is not good. Then we saw a responsible young man, a copper that went to school, chasing after a girl, you know, a lady. With, we, we are some, you understand? So the youth, some of them are thinking, go, go, go. Some of them are playing about Jebu. What I'm saying is that face your leaders. Tell them. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not for violence. No, 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 no. They know me. I'm just talking about peaceful protests. I'm talking about tell your leaders now that oh, you are the pain that we can see. We can see now. They are like this. They are chasing after women. There are many women. You are digging, you are digging a call. But at least, if you chase after women, then you now go out to warm a bar and chop because the reality will don't know you that ah after chasing after after I've chasing after, after I've chasing after woman oh mom the one thousand money in my pocket cannot buy me anything that's the problem so let you let them be serious for once and let, and the court like 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 you want to know the future of any nation look at what the youth is doing presently until Nigeria you take their destiny to their hand they always be praying to God going to different camps going to different fasting and prayers and the country will always remain the same the destiny of our nation is in the hands of the youth. I must say a very big thank you for your time, Mr. Ariwan. Thank you very much. This is Satellite Media.